Boston University is making moves for the fall semester, and the school now says it will require all students to get the COVID-19 vaccine. And as WBZ's Christina Rex reports, a whole new group of younger people could soon be in line to get the shot. Boston University is now the second college in the city, saying it'll require students to have received a COVID vaccine in order to return to campus this fall. If it's going to make the BU community safer overall and have us all be together sooner, I feel like that's definitely the way to go. BU students seem more than willing to get a shot, hoping for social gatherings rather than social distancing next school year. I mean, we are paying a lot of money for tuition, so I think it's only right that we can get back to a normal learning environment as soon as possible. So far in the state of Massachusetts, 4.3 million shots have gone into arms and 1.67 million people are fully vaccinated. Many college students won't be eligible for a shot until April 19th and will need to get one before school starts again in September, which doctors say is a good thing. The more infections that occur at colleges, the more subsequent infections occur in the communities that surround them. Right now, COVID infection rates are shifting towards younger people. In the last two weeks, nearly half the infections in Massachusetts were in people under age 30. I think we were expecting this shift. Epidemiologists say this is because older populations are getting vaccinated first. And since case numbers are on the rise, more unvaccinated young people are getting infected. And just by the volume and the burden of disease, we may see even an increase in severe disease in this population. Vaccine access could expand soon. On Friday, Pfizer asked the FDA to approve its vaccine for use in kids ages 12 to 15 after a clinical trial that proved the shot 100% effective in kids that age. It's good, you know. Hopefully uh, things are getting closer to the end. Ben Jacobson is only 17 and just got his first shot at Heinz Convention Center with his mom. He's one of the youngest people eligible right now. I like trust science. I believe in science. So if, if it's approved by the government, then I think it should be, you know, trusted. And Dr. Vasquez says that the Pfizer vaccine for children can only help us better fight this pandemic. But she anticipates there will be a lengthy debate in the FDA over whether or not to approve it for emergency use in kids. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBC News. All right, Christina.